All right, it's Monday night, time for a little fun, and I am just going right to the business today, just right to the hand so that we can get this party started. <laughs> um, I'm excited to share this card with you guys. Um, just double, just reloading my computer to make sure that I'm live and that it's looking good and all that stuff. So here we go. Maybe I'll even see a comment or two, you know, might, might be a miracle, but I mean, stranger things have happened. So anyway, hello and thanks for being here and leave a comment. Tell me where you're from or what you're doing or what you, what you were doing right now that you took a break from to join in with this. This does not look very exciting right here. <laughs> uh, hi, Helen. Um, thanks for the comment. So that what I'm going to do is make this card today. And I last week, if you watched my last week video, I talked about a, tr a retreat that I had done the weekend before. And at that retreat, I taught a class and it was a potions class. And so this is another card from that class. And this one I called, if you saw the description, it said underwater potions. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I just think of whatever comes to mind in the moment. And that's what I write. So, you know, it is what it is. And so here are a few things that I'm going to be using for underwater potions today. Oh, you know what? I realize my lighting isn't so great. Hold on one second. I've got my other light right here, but I just forgot to grab it. So let's, let's turn on the lights in this place. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Oh, it looks much better. Okay. So for potions today... Because I told, I think I told you it was a Harry Potter theme, and so it, I was in heaven. I was so excited that I got to teach a potions class. So what I'm going to be doing now are a few different things, and somewhere between teaching that class and now, I have lost my uh, pretty peacock reinker, and I really need that today. So, oh well. Moving on. Instead, I'm going to just do. Um, Coastal Cabana, and this one is Knight of Navy, so I'm keeping them separate, but I'm going to use them on the same card so you can kind of see how they look. And before, when I did this before, I had three colors, so I don't know, I kind of think if I mixed these two together, it really would be pretty peacock, so maybe it's not even going to be a big deal. Now this is the, um, what do you call this thing, spritzer that I used last week where I put... Um, Wink of Stella into water. And there might have been a little alcohol too in the Wink of Stella. I don't know. But anyway, it's still mixing together pretty nicely. And so I'm going to use this by first just spritzing this piece of watercolor paper and just kind of drenching it, making sure it's completely covered with water. Um, and so there's some sparkle there too, which you may or may not be able to see. Um, but that's okay. And let's see. Now, oh yeah, you can see that really well, the shine from the light. That's great. Okay, now I forgot to check on my, oh, there we go. This is a good one. My um, water painter to make sure that it had good water in it, but it does. So we're good. So now I'm going to just use this and drop a little bit on each of these colors just to water them down a bit. And now I'm going to cover this with color, but just kind of randomly a little bit so that um, so that they blend together, but they're also like separate, if that makes sense. Ooh, that looks so cool. Okay. Now I'm not even going to really worry about my brush. I'm just going to get it and kind of fill in all the other places. So these two colors are clearly all running together. And this is where a third color comes in nice because you can like kind of spread it all out. I wonder, what do I have right here? I have Azure Afternoon. Maybe I'll try a little bit of that too. Um, but the reality is these colors kind of all need to blend together. So I've got to add a lot more. There's a little bit, a little lighter blue. That's good. Oh, and those are running together now. That's okay. This, I mean, you really can't do this technique wrong. Um, I mean, the only way you could do it wrong was if you had like one color, like even a little bit of white sometimes looks cool because it looks like, so this is going to be under, under the sea and a little bit of light looks like maybe some light coming down from the surface, something like that. Okay. Wow. That's kind of amazing. So I'm going to stop there. My water painter is completely drenched with Night of Navy and that's okay. I'll rinse it out later. 
So slide those over. Now, what I'm going to do is take my magic ingredient, which is this salt. And this is the salt shaker that I already have on my desk that I used to eat my lunch. And I'm just going to throw it over this. Oh, I missed. That's because it was my left hand. Oh, I kind of got it a little bit. So, <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny, the crazy things that happen on live video. Okay, so that salt actually ended up really even. Usually I kind of like it more in one area. Actually, there's quite a bit right there, so it'll be cool. And the salt reacts to, the water reacts to the salt and kind of moves, moves it around a little bit. So I'm going to move this to the side now, and this actually needs to dry. So I'll leave it there for a minute, and then after it dries, I will, I may even use the heat tool a little bit to dry it a little bit more. Meanwhile, I have this amazing anchor from the, uh, I forget the name of it. What's that uh, stamp set? Something by the sea or sea something or beyond beauty, beauty of the deep. And this is cut out with the uh, more dazzle paper. Um, so any paper would work for this. I even did this with watercolor paper where I cut it out first and I stamped on it. Then I spritzed it. But what I'm going to do on this one, but it just looks really different with the, with the dazzle paper. So this is a reinker leftover or, um, spritzer leftover from my class that I taught. It was filled with alcohol and then pretty peacock dropped in there. So it should still be as vibrant. See, look, that I missed on that one. And you can see the color is really good. I'm just going to cover this up really well. So we're going to have a beautiful pretty peacock. Actually, I think it comes out maybe more Coastal Cabana because of the way the little sparkly part plays. So that's that. And then finally, for the third and final potion, kind of put all that salt on the ground. I have to sweep up later. Okay, Calypso Coral. And just a blending brush. This is a from the same die set, the coral, piece of coral cut out. Um, and I'm just going to try to just mostly do the, make the ends really dark, but then just kind of color it all over. So that it doesn't it doesn't look white anymore. Whoop. Coral, I don't know. It bends apparently. <laughs> Coral cut out of basic white bends. <laughs> okay. So just kind of be uneven. I like the unevenness of it, but I still want it to be quite a bit darker. So there we go. My um computer that I'm watching this on keeps kind of going in and out. So I hope it must be. I hope you guys are seeing a good, consistent feed. Okay, I yeah, the ocean, not the lake. You're right. It is the ocean. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But I guess lakes probably, yeah, because lakes don't have coral, really? I never thought about that before. But, you know, I live in Utah. It's the desert, so don't really think through those things. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, Emma, salt, right? Isn't that, like, the coolest thing? Suits me perfect being, like, a total saltaholic. Um, so there we go. Emma, you said it's sea. What did, did because I said ocean or because it's coral? Coral is only in the sea. I don't know. I don't know. You guys are like having a conversation without me, maybe. Okay, but I'm having a great time over here, and I'm glad you guys are here to watch. This is really fun. This is like the funnest card. Okay, I think we're good there though. So I'm going to. Oh, geez, look at that. That's fine. Not a problem. Maybe I'll just dry this for a minute now because it will not stick to my, um, will not stick to my note card until it's dry. So maybe I should even turn it over and dry it and make sure the back is dry. Oh, the back doesn't look too bad. I, when I was practicing this, I did it and the piece of watercolor paper was so soaked through that it was like falling apart. <laughs> so I've been a little better trying to make it not so wet. Okay. I think this is pretty good. Okay. This feels pretty, uh, it's not hundred percent dry, but it's pretty good. I think we can go with it. This looks really cool. Okay. So next step, I'm going to just, um, brush the salt off. 
And this is this is interesting because if you do this yourself and you do white, you spritz with white, or excuse me, with water that doesn't have Winca Stella in it, the salt leaves a little bit of a sparkle. But because I used a sparkle spritz, the sparkle's insane. Like there's so much sparkle. Let me see if I can get that to show up for you guys. I don't know. You're, it's not looking sparkly on the screen, I don't think. But I'll try to get some in a picture and send it. Might just not be possible. But how cool that it has like all of this like graininess there. Um, that just, I didn't even plan for that. That's the salt. But that's exactly the salt. Looks a little different each time. And it's just such a cool technique. I took an art class once a few years ago uh, with my sisters and <laughs> an adult art class. And we learned to do that. In, and it was just so cool. I don't know why I haven't used it more often on cards. Okay, so I'm going to stick that down there. But actually, I might wait on that because it's not quite dry. So I might wait till after. It's just going on a plain note card. So that's not exciting. Okay, we're going to then, I'm going to put this piece right down there. Uh, I wonder if this is, I think it's dry enough. So I'll just find a few little spots to stick the liquid glue down and hold this in place. And that should be good. All right, so this is kind of going to hang out over here on the right side of the card. You know, that Azure Afternoon really looks cool. I really like that a lot. It looks because on the other one, the finished one I have to show you, it looks quite different. It looks a, a lot more dingy. And so I'm loving the way this one looks. Okay, I'm, I've am i lost a piece of cardstock. Where is it? There it is. Found it in my packet. Let me dig that out. So this piece of cardstock is simply a crumb cake. And I did not grab my crumb cake ink pad so instead oh my coral well there is no coral stamp what stamp did I use for this I guess it was just this one okay so I've got pecan pie and I will use that I really love this color I used it yesterday for the first time really and it is an awesome color I'm gonna be using it a lot more because sometimes I don't know crumb cake now it's an awesome staple but it seems a little bit dated to me sometimes I'm ready for a little more like warm brown, you know? So I'll just kind of stamp this along here and just meant to give this a little bit of detail. This is going to be the sand. Maybe you figured this out. Yes, Emma, I was an adult art class. Yes, of course, there were no children in there. I don't know why I told you that. It's just what it was called. Um, let's see. Oh, you can't see it on screen, the glimmer, yeah. Um, Betty, how did you add the wink of Stella to the spritzer? Well, that's a great question, which I, um, let's see, I have something else to, oh, I know what it was. That's, it's not part of this. Okay. Yep. I'll show you in just a second. So this is my sand. So I'm just going to tear this towards me. You got to tear it towards you so that the, so that you get the, um, break of the cardstock right there. And then you can go back if you don't like that being light. You can go back and kind of add a little bit of color to that. Or get it so it's not. There we go. Okay. All right. So that's going to go right down here. Put, the, put it in front of the coral. And then now we need the anchor. Ooh, that's still wet. So I'm going to get one that's over here that's dry already so that I can put it down to the card. Okay, so this was, yeah, exactly the same. So that's good. Now for this, I'm going to take a couple of mini dimensionals because this is tiny, so we need some small ones. And I'm just gonna stick these to the back and then wrap a little bit of twine around them. So this will just help them kind of stay in place. And then stick it to the card. Hopefully, okay, let's see. Hope there's no sh none showing from the other side. Okay, let's see. Where did my little piece of twine go? It disappeared. There it is. So this is a little um, 
Baker's twine. I think what this is sweet sorbet. And so from the front, I'm just going to wrap it around the anchor a few times. So just so it looks kind of, I don't know, you know, like an anchor, like a little nautical. <laughs> okay. I trim that off. And that really cut really well. Nice. That was terrible. Might be time to sharpen these scissors. I don't know. Maybe get a new pair. Okay, so this just wrapped around there kind of loosely. That looks pretty cool. So this is just going to kind of sit over here in the corner. Oh, I didn't stick that down yet. Let's stick this. And then, all right, everything is going well. I might need another dimensional up here. So I think I'm going to just trim a little teeny bit, a long and skinny piece, maybe, because I think the, the hexagon would be too, that's too big as it is a little bit. So just trim that off. That'll work. Let's give it something so that the top sticks. Okay, that's perfect right there. There's our anchor. It just fell off a boat and sunk to the bottom of the ocean and sunk into the sand right there. <laughs> and then finally, we need a little greeting. So I forgot to grab the stamp set for that. So I'll just show you my finished one at this point, but I'll just stamp a little greeting on there and stick it there. I am so pleased with that. It looks awesome. Before I show you my other finished version, let me show you what I was talking about with the Wink of Stella. So where is my Wink of Stella? Here it is. Well, this is my non... I have one that I dedicated, and I'll do a project maybe next time with that. Um, so with your Wink of Stella, what I did was I just opened up my spritzer. Where's my spritzer? Yeah. Just opened up my spritzer, and then I just squeezed the Wink of Stella, and it went down into there. So that's one way to do it. Or you can, this is another trick that I can show you next time. Um, so right there, if you can uh, put like a knife or something or your snips even right there between, let's see if this works. Just grab the black part and there we go and just pull it up. Then you can bring that out and then you can put a reinker in there. But keep in mind, if you put a reinker, if you drop ink colors in there. This is a dedicated Wink of Stella that will never be any other color. But I did one, a um, turquoise. What's that turquoise called? That bright one. I did one that was that color. And so I'll use that on the project next time. And so it's amazing. It's a super awesome technique. And I suggest just getting a Wink of Stella for every single color. And then you can have everything in shimmer. And... So finished, here's the one we did, and here's the one that I did in the class previously. Ooh, my fingers are so messy. So you can see how they're different. Almost exactly the same, just you are the best right there. And my sand is a lot more intense too because I used pecan pie instead of crumb cake. But you can see, yeah, that um, this one I pretty much just did Night of Navy and Pretty Peacock. And then right here is where the salt was, and it's shimmery. It looks really cool. But this one is like, I don't know, next level. The, I think it's the contrast between the two colors. And the bringing in the third color, um, Azure Afternoon, really made it look cool. So, I don't know, some really fun techniques there. I hope you um, try some of these and let me know how it goes. I mean, you really, like, I think the only thing you need to worry about when you're doing something like this is using colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Like, if you use um, orange and blue, orange and navy, or purple and yellow, that's when you're going to be in trouble because those will come together and make brown. And if you use a lot of them, they'll just be a big brown mush. It'll be gross. But if you use pink and red and purple and even into blues, you'd be fine. Um, so just watch that. Just draw out a color wheel if you need to and get colors that are kind of closer to each other. And that's why I yeah, I mean, that's why I did this coral, because I think coral comes in a lot of different colors, right? But that's why I did this coral in orange, 
so that it would be a stark contrast with the backgrounds of the blues and greens. So anyway. All right. Well, thanks for being with me tonight. Oh, I forgot that I was going to talk about the Great American Stampin' Cruise. I posted about it late last night. And so if you haven't seen that post, it's in the featured posts. So my Great American Stampin' friends, we are hosting a cruise to Alaska in June and we can't wait. So it's going to be all just a lot of fun stamping on the on on the days that we're on the ship the whole time. But actually, you can go into the room and stamp anytime you want. We'll have lots of classes, lots of prizes, lots of swag, lots of fun, lots of friendship, lots of hanging out, lots of eating at the buffet, you know, all that stuff. So if you have questions about that, send me a message. And I think that's about it. Um, just a reminder that I'm starting to do these Monday night videos every other week. And then, so next week, I'll have the Great American Stampin' Show. And so I won't do a live video, but then the next week, I'll do the live video, if that makes sense. And Great American Stampin' Show went live on Thursday. So if you haven't seen those yet, go check those out. It's Sparkling Snowflakes. All right, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're um, looking forward to Thanksgiving or whatever other amazing thing you have coming up this week. See you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.